take two of working on your Cummins. He's almost out. What was that? I don't think we're getting out. What? You can't make it through the tire and the fender? No. You can't bend down that way? Well, guys, we're in Rexus here this uh, Saturday, Easter Saturday. Um, put some, gonna go put some fuel in it and go for a drive because I got a call that somebody's stuck. Um, we went out to Mount Joy there, I guess about a month ago, three weeks ago, something like that. And uh, one of the roads we didn't go up, which we wanted to go up, was really snowed in, and the guy, a couple of guys went out. A little bit ill prepared for that road and uh, are now stuck because it's, it's not snowed in they say so we're just letting Rex just fully warm up and then uh, we'll go put some fuel in her and we will make some miles it's not gonna be a very long drive but I guess we will see what it brings well guys uh, cats probably up by the bed out of the bag now um, but we were filming on Thursday we missed it because I honestly it was just the job was forever I'm gonna do a little bit better job at planning the shots while I'm working on things but uh, videos uploading right now while I'm talking to you guys so we snapped an ARP head stud on the Cummins um, I don't know I, 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 I guess I kind of know what happened. We had used a torque wrench that I really hadn't trusted, and then we grabbed another one, and it was doing the same thing. So I actually kind of trust the torque values, other than we used a half to three-eighths adapter, and then a deep socket, which, which is fine, but it was one of the back studs, and I'm pretty sure had a bit of a jerking motion so that 150 foot pounds might have been like 180 190 or 200 we actually broke the stud inside the block now we tried everything we could to get the part of the stud out without removing the head but it just just no luck so we ended up pulling the head and it's off to uh to a guy in maidstone uh robin uh, i can't think of his last name right now but he's doing up we're checking the head 100% over. We're going to put a new head gasket in, obviously. We have a new stud on the way from ARP. So that way we can get this thing back on the road. So I'm actually going to be daily driving Rexes. So I guess we're going to have a bit of a video on what's it, what's it like to daily ALS swap Land Cruiser uh, for a week or two. I've been meaning to do it, but... Anyways guys, so that's kind of what's happening. We are on our way to Tim and Paul here. They're, uh, Tim's stuck in some snow and apparently the road in's pretty muddy, so stay tuned. Hey guys, a few people ask me, oh, what energy do you prefer? Bang energy. This Cherry Blade Limeade is amazing. That or Rockstar Punched. Sugar-free version. I'm gonna start getting back into healthy living here soon, so I can get rid of that neck gizzard. It's been bugging me. And uh, OG Monster, sugar-free. So, anyways, guys, we're getting really close now to to them. Like, legitimately, it's like a 10-minute drive for me. And this thing cruises at 112 on the highway, like. 411s and 37s makes it really nice. Well, we're pretty much there. Uh, I'm gonna just put myself in a four high, guys. And yes, I just pushed one of my fancy uh, position switches. It doesn't actually appear like it's working. Um, this, guys, that's my uh, four high switch. It's the same setup as the uh, as my uh, same pin style as a four-way switch. I used a four-way flasher from a right-hand drive. Took the center pin out, and I put the center diff lock on it, so that way I could operate it. So let's see. So the road 
road looks a little muddy. going to use for low um, we're gonna see how stuck he is oh there we go there's some mud somebody in the way almost like they're going to rescue them only needs like a standard two inch strap okay. otherwise you're gonna break shit well, I always figured bigger is not better no when it comes to a tall strap. no when think about it you're pulling your vehicle you want the you want the breaking point to be that strap not your vehicle I guess. right yeah. so a lot of people don't realize that guys everybody buys the biggest strap they can get and uh, reality is you don't want that we're gonna get them turned around pretty quick. Pretty easy pull, guys. Hook the bub up, baby in board. He didn't even feel the tug. I really didn't feel him until he tugged back. But yeah, it's so much easier when you're using the bubba, using the right straps. We're now just guiding the way out. Little Nissan Rogue made it up this road pretty easy. Sometimes I just throw stuff on for my own fun times and four lows working uh yeah so we'll keep going thanks for tuning in tim you're welcome for the recovery i'm wondering when the next one's gonna be Go beast, I go beast, go deep, I OG on a beast, I OG. Apply pressure, 